So listen, we are here with part two of confidence from a male perspective, okay? The first part was so good we had to do it again, okay? But we have some new faces, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and introduce you to everyone and we're gonna get started. Okay, y'all remember Kimi? Say hi, Kimi. <laughs> Alondre, wave. This is Warren, okay? Y'all remember Pat? Yeah. Smile, Pat. <laughs> and we got Toya. Woo! So I thought it would be fun to kind of add a couple more ladies to the mix so we can just get a different um, perspective and we touch on certain topics. So it's going to be good, okay? So, real quick, the first one. Y'all think we touched on a lot? The first one that we did? The first, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think we left some too. Yeah. I think we left some to the imagination also, which is a good thing. Right. And we're smart enough to know to bring in women to fill in our gaps. That's the way. That's the rule. That's the one. Yeah, but what, so when you say it's not a realistic standard, like what are you comparing yourself specifically to? 
I think there's always something to compare to for us women. Absolutely. Like you're never measuring up enough. You're never good enough. Yeah, that, I mean, again, that's that, that's for males too, though. That's not just a. But is it though? It's so I have a question, Keisha, if you're okay with this. Sure. Do you all feel that men play a role in the lack of confidence or the comparison that women have with each other? By society standards, or do you think in like terms of personal relationships? Like you're talking like a one-on-one -on -one type of like you like I'm dating somebody and I play a role in her confidence, or you're talking about like in general society like. I think in general, more like society. Yeah. In more terms of like that. society. Yeah. I, I I don't think so. I think women pressure women more than men. Right. Like so, you. and like what what keeps me like what you saying about society how like. California do play a role. Like the woman, women would look at like on the East Coast, we look at women that like, live in California, and that's mostly these um, like the social media influencers. They're mostly in California, they're mostly in Atlanta, Miami, where right. they nice weather, where they can exercise a lot, mm -hmm. right? Where we up here in the snow, and girls like hang on track, right? <laughs> but um, they look at that. They look at social media and they look at like, wow, like why is she so fit? Why is she? See all this going on, but um, location does play a huge role in that, right? Um, so we, we know most of us not going to go running in 20 degree, 20 degree weather, right? Like, it would mean I was eating, right? Well, flip, flip, right? flip the question though, like, so I, like our answer clearly, I'm not going to for laundry, but I don't, I don't think so, right? Like, I, I personally don't because my taste might be different than Kings, then that, that might be different from a laundry. But at the same time, it's it's like, what do you think as a woman that men influence women's confidence? Mm -hmm. Is that like if, if you because if you think it's so, then it's like okay, well explain to us why. Because that's where the real question, that's where the real answer is going to come from. So flipping the question on you, do you think men play a role in women's confidence? I don't think men play the main role. Okay. I do feel like they play a component to women comparing themselves because of what some men, and I'm not. Categorize them as all men. No, I, I think some men, um, what they give attention to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I talk? <laughs> So I go to a gym in uh, South Windsor, 
right? So it's a private gym. And these girls are beautiful. They're like they're beautiful, and some girl, and not even the ones that are like like you're saying, like that that society standard. They're beautiful, and some of them have very masculine frames, but it's earned. Like that's like they work hard on their bodies, right. and that's the attractive part. Right, but some of it's not. And no disrespect to women who gotten work done, but to me that's not earned. You go and lay on the table so the doctor can shake your body. To me, that's not. That's earned. unattractive. No, but that's the standard. That's that's the standard. Yeah, you know, I, I get that, but that's not my standard. And I think that's why a lot of the women feel the pressure to need to go and do that, get bigger lips, right. get fuller yeah. bodies, or whatever that, that looks like. But it goes, it goes back to, to Pat's point that most men, we all don't have the same case. Like, me and my, me and my brothers, we have the same father, everything. We grew up together, and our taste is totally different. Like, like my brother, he like, I want a country. Well, I, I just, I'm really fascinated with country, you know, man. I, I love this style, right? And I'm like, okay, wow, well, it's different. He grew up in the, in the hood in the projects, but, right? <laughs> his, his, his preference is totally different. So, men, men like, um, like, I remember, like, the last time that I used to not date women, was like, oh, you didn't compliment my nails. And I was like, I was looking at this for the time, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not looking like, I'm not looking at, I'm not looking at like, oh, she got her hell now. Well, she need a refill. Like, no, we, we're, we're not sitting back, like, judging women, but that's what we think sometimes. They think, like, oh, I need to get my nails done before I, oh, I'm not coming out, my nails not done, my hair's not done. And we like, we don't care, let's go eat. Like, but, you know, right? I, 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 did, I dated a girl probably four or five years ago, and we didn't date for that long, and then I saw her recently, and she got all the plastic work. And I'm like, I'm probably gonna take some. I'm like, you don't look good anymore. You like, you look fake. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not like she's not so like a beautiful person. Like, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that she looks weird. You know, it, it's, it doesn't look it's natural. Not natural. It's right? not natural. Like, I'm like, I knew who you were. Now you've got these big bloated lips. You got some other things done. Which... So that brings up a good question. Okay. Do most men prefer natural over? I'm not. We can't speak. Um, I can't speak. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. I love. No, I'm very good. No, let me let me let me let me yeah, let me let me chime in because I think I think the root of what we're talking about is kind of like something that I, I feel like I I know uh, and learn. So the problem I think is with women in confidence in men in confidence is that most people look externally in, mm -hmm. not internally out. Mm -hmm. And that is why men or women assist in the way that people feel. The people that look internally out are validated in here, so this doesn't validate anything. Mm -hmm. So for me, like that that's that's confidence. So when you say like is a man you know responsible for no. I think people are responsible like more pe people spend more time on social media than they do themselves. Mm -hmm. and, that's it. and so yeah. like when I say like for me, I look at myself and like where I spend my time, I spend less time on social media than I do reading books, working on networking, professional development. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I look at externally, when people say things to me, um, I don't, it doesn't have much weight mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm validated here. I love myself. Um, I've dated myself. I've, 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 I've dated, um, you know the the wrong version of me, Come and I'm dealing with the right version of me. So like for for so to, to our point about like you know is it about confidence? Is it about like who helps with it? I think the the real root of it is um, how do you see the world? Do you see it? Do you see it? That's you know um, fire. because that because that shapes everything else that happens around you. Like I can tell you, I can tell people who spend more time on social media than people who spend more time with themselves. I, Immediately, mm -hmm. by the way they react. Mm -hmm. Where do you think comparison comes from? And, and it kills. You, you know, you know who I compare myself to? You. Yeah, I don't. I don't you care. Know. Listen, I don't care what I, I don't care what anybody's doing. doing. And most most people do. They genuinely care about what other people are doing. And I'm like, listen, I don't got time to worry about anybody else because if we both if we're both wake up at six o'clock, I'm not worried about what he's doing at six. I'm gonna wake up at five so I can get the work done so I can just pass that person. Like that's how I operate. So when I look at women. And and like what they what they bring to the table, um, I think it's really like they need to do some searching 
and internally, men have to do it too. This is not a female conversation. This is men, men have to do it too. Where do you think maturity comes from? I'm mature because I, you know, I have 14,000 followers. Okay. Um, do you know anything about like yourself? And it's like, well, okay, you know how to act. Congratulations, you should go to Broadway, but um, that's why you're single. Well, then, think about think about it. You have 40,000 followers, but 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 are but are internally suffering, literally suffering. Right. Because I they look at the validation that comes from those followers versus right. the validation within, like I, I said before. I had to answer that question before she, because her question was is, is great, and I but I feel like I had to kind of plant that seed before we kind of continue answering that question. No, that because I think it I think it helps with just the. I think more people. <laughs> <laughs> to most people is like this crazy, like different perspective. Like, oh my gosh, how does how do people think like this? Like, for me, that's normal. I'm like, this is normal. It's it's normal. It's abnormal for me to see how much people spend on time on social media. So I, what is the time that people spend on social media? Because I am anti social media. I don't do social media at all. <laughs> if you if you you would be stunned. Like if you look at some of these younger kids on that springtime app on their phone, I want to know how much time they're on the phone because it tells you exactly how many times yeah. you touch the app, how many times you open it, how many times you engage with it, how many like hours that they're on their phone, and it's like that's that's the new like. Here's the weird thing is like even dating now, it's it, like you like, when I ask a girl for her number or something like that, it's so weird to them because it's now it's like oh what's your Instagram. That's true. But what's your Snapchat? I'm like, one, I, I'm, I, I don't really check my Instagram at all. And two, I don't have Snapchat. So, like, can you just be, a, like, an adult and just the give me your phone? The way of courting or approaching is not. But think about it. It's exactly what I was talking about. Like, how, how do most relationships um, that happen through social media start? With the DM. For me, all my relationships, friendships, they don't happen via DM. No. I, they happen with live... I'm out talking to people. Mm -hmm. Like I met her talking in person. That wasn't like she, nobody sent each other a DM. It was authentic. But that's because of what I believe in inside that allows me to like operate different. Mm -hmm. Which is why I found what I'm looking for, not what I think I need. Ooh. Does that make sense? Like it's it's great. Like. He's not <laughs>
not we do. We live in such like a superficial war, world right. of, of what what the person looks like. I'll speak for myself. What she looks like, what she does for a living. And it's like those are th those are big parts of probably her life. But at the same time, like what's underneath? Because most of the stuff like that I look for in a person aren't physical. It's not what what uh, what she does for them. But at the same time, I'm also not naive enough to think that I can attract a person with those characteristics if I am not, to your point, myself those things. So if you want somebody who's a good communicator and you're not a good communicator, well, how do you think that relationship's gonna work out? Mm -hmm. She's I gonna, think it's a, also, in addition to that, there's a lack of substance with people. Oh yeah. Everything, like I said, everything is like completely superficial. Yeah. There's no substance with people. Uh -huh. Like, how do you feel? Like, no emotional intelligence, no emotional availability. You have nothing. Yeah. You come mm -hmm. with nothing. Nothing. You can't even have a conversation. Right. right. No. An intelligent conversation. Right. Like, a sentence that has every part of a sentence in a sentence. You can't even do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? So, it's just... It, it is, it's so crazy when you talk to people and, and it doesn't ever go beneath the surface. I'm gonna I'm 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 go, go deep the surface I, I, go, I go deep. Like, right. I'll, I'll, ask a, I'll ask a question, like, <laughs> not even trying to go deep, but like, it just happens. Like, oh, you know, where are you from? Okay, like, is your family still there? Like, just dig it deeper. And then once I hit a hot spot that we connect, now it's like you just, now that's a yeah. spot that you, you, you can live and communicate. And then when that's done, when the fire goes out there, you just go to the next thing. Right. Well, who does that? Right. Most, right. Most people don't. Right. So, do you feel like we answer, answer that question? What, what, do you, what do you think our answer is? <laughs> what? what? What do you think? So I feel like there was many different answers, but I think overall, I think it's the society that we live in that plays a role in everyone's confidence. I don't think just women. I think more specifically women, but I think it plays a role in men's confidence too. Right. Yeah, it's that. I think it's like sports. I mean, it's like basketball. You have you have the the player who scores the basket, and typically there's someone who assists on that basket. They didn't score the basket, but they were a part of it. Right. And so the, the only way that that person would be a part of it is if you allow them on your team. Yeah, it's like the and it's just like you know, what you like in your life. Right. It's, 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 it's no different. That's why I love sports, because it, it, the powerful lessons. Like, I can articulate that in a simple way people understand. Mm -hmm. I don't have to relate that to social media, mm -hmm. because there's so many different personas, and you don't know what's authentic or not. Mm -hmm. right. Basketball is basketball. There's a person who scores, and a person who gets the assist. They both are in the stat book, but one gets the glory in the paper, and the other person gets um, the, 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 the stat in a, in a small print in the newspaper. I hate Which way? You know, but anyways, I digress. Next one, Keisha. So then. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, this is, so I think this is my question, because um, I think you started the conversation last time when you said that you can be smiling at a woman and just being nice, you know. Like you see a couple woman, you just smile at her. Just yeah. Just, but there's just no good energy. energy. Yeah. yeah just just good energy. energy. Yeah. So my question is, men complimenting or smiling at a woman that's confident, do you think it can be misleading? Me specifically? I no. Like it's just to everybody. So, so just start to so you're saying. You said specifically a confident woman. Yes, because or a woman, because that answer might be different. No, confident woman. Confident. Because he so, said yeah. because he said he'll see a confident woman and just smile or wave or whatever, be nice because he's, they're confident. But there's no intention. Remember, we had a conversation. Yeah, there's the, the, like there's the only intention is putting good vibes right. to that person. Mm -hmm. But if that confident woman is like, oh, okay, right, you know, and wants to start up, it's like. I'm not naive enough to think that like women don't do the choosing, right? Like men are attracted to a lot of different women, right? But at the end of the day, we can only initiate the courtship, but ultimately it's a woman who decides whether they're gonna go forward. Okay. Like, you know, like my job as a man is show up and, and basically be like, you know, basically ask you out, right? right? That initiates the courtship. It's your job to say yes or no. If it's a yes, okay, we're gonna go, let's see how it does. If not, I did my job. I showed up. I put good intentions into the air. And yeah, you pursued, and it, it's up to you to pick up the ball and run with it, or basically tell me what Bob's saying. Either way, I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> it's, it's such a good point because yeah. I, I think, to his point, I think a confident woman 
won't take that the wrong way because she has a price tag and she knows her price tag. So she wouldn't take that as like, because she doesn't have to give that man a time of day. A competent woman knows that like someone's gonna have to work and a smile ain't enough. Like, so for me, like I, I related that to like going shopping. It's like you go to like the outlet store, when you go to the outlet store, what are you looking to typically walk in here and get? A discount. When you walk into a Louis Vuitton store, they don't have uh, buy one, get one. They don't have discounts, they don't have deals. You're going there, you're spending a thousand dollars on a purse. A confident woman is representing the Louis Vuitton store. They they're not they're not accepting discounts. They're not trying to I'm not being mature, I'm just saying we're right, talking right. about like most people, uh, their price tag is they're just trying to hand out discounts. So they end up just taking anything they because they just want it. versus saying, hey, like, I'm, I'm not I'm not settling with it. I'm gonna walk into this into here and like my price tag says XYZ. If you don't want it, you can go to the other environment and get what you're looking for. So I, I think her question was like, is it is it misleading? Like, if you if you don't have intentions for her to be like, hey, I want to play or hey, I want to have a conversation. If you just like giving her compliments, mm -hmm. like, can it can it be misleading? And I, I don't think so. So so my, so let me sorry let me yeah. clarify. Why smile or wave or whatever? At a confident woman, if there's no intention, that's what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm like, you know? I mean, it's a pleasantry. Yeah. yeah. So, and we don't we don't know necessarily a confident woman. We know that we're just genuinely trying to like put good energy out there. Like you guys don't wear name tags and say I'm confident, I'm unconfident. You just said that's how much you can tell. That make us pick it up. Yeah. After that interaction that happened. So like, how am I supposed to understand the interaction if I'm not being the one to basically facilitate the interaction? Like I can't, like you can understand by the way a woman walks or something like that, but I'm not gonna know for sure unless I put good intention in the air, maybe smile, strike a conversation. So you were doing that to initiate something with this confident woman? Yeah. You wouldn't just do it to any woman? I, I, I do it to all women. Okay. Because my, like again, like I treasure my mother. Yeah. I treasure my mother. I also house my mother a really hard time. That's my, you know, whatever. But that, I, but I gave women a hard time in a playful way. But that's that's me being confident enough in myself to really just put myself out there to really any woman. It doesn't like it, there doesn't have to be. I'm not going to know if there's a spark or anything like that until we actually have that interaction. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, but I, but you never know unless I like again just by being there smiling. It, but that doesn't mean like there's any attention, so maybe it is misleading. But I'm, but at the same time, like I'm not gonna stop being me right. at the expense of it maybe misleading. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It depends on what they've been through as well. You know, right. I think it also depends on what people go through because their perception of that interaction could be different. If, if they've been in situations where they met someone and and that's how they met them, that same dialogue, they could now perceive that differently. If someone didn't go through that. Maybe that's just like, oh, thank you, that was nice. Mm -hmm. And then, so I think it, it, it yes and no. I, right. I think it, you know, it depends on the person. I think it depends on the environment. I think it depends on where they are in life. Um, right. yeah. But you don't know that from, from the start. And you know how people dress that shows that they might be confident, but like you don't know like past that until like that initial like exchange happens. And, and uh, Listen, everything I think I know about women could probably fit in this room. Anything I actually know about women can probably fill <laughs> half this world out. Okay, because every woman is different and there's no such thing as a blanket like answer. The only thing yeah. I can do is show up in yeah. my best possible self. Right. And I work on that every day. Agreed. Yeah, so I, I try to avoid that. Like um I I'm working in like the health field. Um you come across that too often. Right? You can just like compliment, like, okay, I like I like your nails today. I like I like the orange, right? And then next thing you know, there's a note on left on my desk, like, and I'm like, oh, that was that, like, yeah, but it's like, good. You know, right? <laughs> and then like, <laughs> right? So it's like, it's just like, uh, even like, even like working with working with like youth, um, like parents, like just being sometimes I'm like, damn, am I too nice? But I, I had a student come to me and like, hey, um, I don't think she like her. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, and I'm like, is it really a compliment? So like, 
sounds like I need to step back a little bit because it started to become misleading. And now let me think I'm hitting on everybody because I'm complimenting. Yeah, but, but, but again, it goes both ways too because, like, you know, I've been, I've been friends all, multiple times. Like, girls, I'm like, oh, she's into me. And then it's kind of like she just kind of puts you to the side. So it's like, is, are you saying that it, it can only be that way just for men? No, 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 not at all. I was just basing the question off of the first. Because I, I can make it, no, I was going to say, I can make it, I can make equally the argument that, like, women give off, like, you know, call flirty vibes or whatever, and they have no intentions at all. That's just part of their personality. Right. Right? So it's the same thing, in essence. Uh, what you got to say? Uh, no. Why? Well, go women, ahead. Women, women, women just, I never met, I don't know, personally, I never met someone who just, like, with like tease and like compliment you and be like, oh no, we just friends. I never had that. Ain't going with it though. You'll find one. <laughs> so like, if, if, if you're if you're if you're, if you're entertaining me, like it's a reason, right? Like you're, I, I you're just sitting there like play fighting and like I don't know. Women women give up strong. So you're bad at men right now. You so, never you never swung and miss at all. I, I swung and missed, but it, it wasn't her like it wasn't her like coming on to me and like complimenting compliment me. And then nah, it's like yeah, yeah. Like, nah, I'm not. It's like oh no no, I'm just being. But I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking. But men men men, 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 men do that. Like I'm saying that like, I I've done that before. Like, I was being friendly and then like if she came up to me and like oh, like, mm, I got some sex to you. <laughs> like, but I think I think misleading is uh, I think. That is true. I understand when you say like there's certain times where you're like cautious about like saying things because some people can't take it the wrong way. But I think there's also a piece of that like I'm okay if people misinterpret that because I also have a, a reaction to that too. I can control my next step. So if I just give them a compliment and then nothing happens after that, now hopefully that seed I planted in them is like, hey, not all guys are scumbags. Not all guys are just trying to get more. So like I can just give you a compliment and be on my way, and maybe the next interaction you have, maybe you think differently. So for me, that chance that um, I can be part of uh, the solution of like like changing a, a, a female's perspective on like good guys, because um, there are more good guys out there than um, I think there are. What's uh, about you going? No, no but I, I, I think there are more good guys out there than. Um, than people are willing to admit um, because they've seen so many bad guys. So, you know, I, I think I, I, said, I, said it, I said it last one. I know more single women than I do men. Mm -hmm. Ooh, chat. I, it's because there's more women than men on there. Right. <laughs> 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 that right. But, 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 that, but that's, so not, that tells you yeah. too. And that's not a slight at all. That's just saying, like, the reality of, like, you know, think about it negativity versus positivity. What's the first thing you see when you turn on the news? Something negative. Right. There's a lot. There's a lot of positive things going on in the world. Right. Like think right. about what you're doing. You know, in, in the community where, where, you, where you where you reside. Like that's significant work. But that's that's kind of under the bridge mm -hmm. to like okay, here's the next shooting that happens. It's like correct. You know, so that that's kind of what I'm referring to. I think I like the chance of like being able to shift that perspective um, for the next person that maybe they come into contact with. Maybe they don't think. They don't think so wrong about that interaction. Maybe they they're okay. Like this is a good guy. Like yeah. hey, I pay for your your you know. It's kind of like go to Dunkin' Donuts and you pay for someone. Yeah. yeah someone I'm not hitting on you. I'm just really paying it forward. Yeah. But again, I'm okay with that thought that like oh he could be you know trying to you know. And maybe he yeah, is. You don't know. But, it, but it's like yeah. there, sometimes there's genuine good people. Yeah. Like, I just want people to see that. Yeah. As much I, as I, I do that. I try not to like. But I'm like pay for somebody stuff. Like, I'm like, okay, I'll pick the person behind me. I'll, I'll take off to whatever we have. Like, what's that? Is it attractive? I'm like, she looks good. Like, I'm 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 Pleasantries anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Hello means okay, like the next step. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or, or like in the photo, it's like, right. listen, like that's just a nice photo. Right. Now, listen, like I think it's the attention. 
attention that women seek nowadays. So like hearing a hello or yeah. having a man, man give a woman attention, they could interpret that as like, oh, this man's giving me attention, so I'm gonna entertain that. Right. Oh, so they shift their perspective on what yeah. the initial hello meant. Right. Yeah. And, and I've got women that that's all they see is mm -hmm. just attention. It doesn't matter. Like the, like the, that's like that's their sole focus. It's not like a relationship or anything. They just like the attention. And I think that's an insecurity. I don't think that comes from confident women. Yeah. No, that definitely doesn't. Believe me, it's not a confident trait at all. If that's all you're seeking is attention. It's like that. If you're, that's basically how you see value in yourself. Is by attention on others. Bob, just going back to what he said too. You also have to be careful with that because some people are living with trauma. Mm, I, so no, no, I'm not saying like no. let's just. I'm just gonna throw this hypothetical out there. Like, say if someone doesn't ha has daddy issues or didn't find love from their father or a male in their life, and they find that attention through the men that are saying right. hello. Right. It's kind of not their fault. I mean, granted, it's not a good thing, but it's kind of not their fault because they don't know, you know, what that, that's a, right, like, that trauma, and they're like, oh, let me grab it. Oh, oh, I need this. Oh, I need this. Uh, I need this. You know what I mean? Or, so, they're upgrading yeah. that affects their confidence. Absolutely. Correct. Correct. So, trauma is huge for sure um, with people today, I would say. Yeah, so, trauma in it. Yeah. Um, definitely, like, especially like relationships, because I, 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 I was a, a victim to that. Like, um, I was in a relationship, and like, when I come home, especially like from, from the army, like army, the army experience is hot. So like, I come home and like my girl would just be there, and she won't say nothing. She like, are you getting food or you cooking? Or and I'm just like, dang. But I'm like, I, right, I go get food. I go get food, and I'm like, still in my uniform, and the waitress like, how was your how was your day? And I'm like, are you serious right now? Right? Like, so, um, yeah, that, that, that can happen, right? That, that has, has a lot to do with trauma and, mm -hmm. and your experiences, right? If you if you was in a relationship for a long time and you never got complimented exactly. by a right, single figure other than now that you're single, all you guys are saying. Right, you eat it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Just to kind of piggyback off of you, and then I have one for him like I grew up with my dad in my life so when it comes to men like I, I'm like no nonsense because my dad has seen me as I was growing up my dad's not really a big like like he doesn't do it all the time but when he notices something like if he saw me and I just put on my makeup I got on something nice and going he was like you look beautiful so I have that to where my dad has seen me so I know what to expect when it comes from like a man mm -hmm. so I'm used to that so I can understand so the opposite of mm -hmm. what you said so that when I get a compliment from a man or whatever it, not it, it excites me because I'm like oh you cute I you cute I cute I cute Like, but my dad shows me like 
what a real man's supposed to do, what a real man's all about. So I would always go back to that, you know what I'm saying? But did you ever use that as fuel? For what? For like your own personal growth? Mm, not until I got willing to my adulthood. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you esteemed, so let me ask you this, based off what you were saying, you know, how your dad showed you, you know, mm -hmm. how you should be treated so you receive compliments differently mm -hmm. today. Were you esteemed by actions or by words? Well, and how do, how do you think that affects the way you receive uh, or, or a woman receives um, compliments? Because if you're esteemed by showing, I think that's dangerous too, mm -hmm. because showing is typically limited to a few things right. to show someone. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you have like at home, like your dad telling you every day, you're beautiful, you're beautiful, you're right. beautiful. Like you're gonna react differently to hearing that versus hey, I'm just I'm just gonna do a lot of physical things with you, and I'm showing you that you mean just that. Right. Um, whereas if someone says you're beautiful, now it's like you're questioning it. Um, right. So do you, do you feel like there's a difference for women with I how, do. how they... I do. I, I would have to agree. Um, I, I like to put me in a situation. So my dad didn't compliment me all the time, but when he did, <clears throat> It was genuine because no one knows my dad personally, but if you know him, he's he's up at five, working. He's old school, you know what I'm saying? So he's old school. I'm working. I'm bringing the bacon. I'm taking care of the household. So I got that too. Where my dad, my dad always he showed me what a provider is. So I know what a man looks like who will literally like work himself to the bone to make a living for his family. So, and that, like, and I'm not gonna lie, when I was like dating, like a few years ago, I was like, I need a man to take care of me. Like, because of my dad, that's what he does, you know what I'm saying? So then I have to be like, okay, you gotta like, that was that. So yes, that can play a major role to where you think, because you take care of me, that validates everything. So I've experienced that too. But I know my dad, when he would go out his way and be like, you look nice today, daughter. I know it was genuine and it was from the heart. Mm -hmm. So now, 31 years old, I'm already 32. Most guys, like 90% of the guys that I interact with, straight compliment, esteem. There's no like, let me let me take you out, let me show you this grand or all this stuff. There's really none of that. It's just... I think you're cool. I like how you look. We laugh. We can, it's all of that. You know what I'm saying? So for me personally, that's what I focus more on. So, but it can go either way. But I think in today's society, it's the it's the what what can a man do? Because I know friends would be like, yeah, I'm like, I don't want to deal with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wrote what he did for me. <laughs> they need to stop listening to the city girls, okay? Because <laughs> But I think it's interesting because like what you said, it, it's like, let's say there's a father who is giving um, a lot of, or showing a woman how they should be treated. Right. Um, that, that's, that's a piece of it. Hey, Absolutely. okay, I know what kind of man I should be looking for. Right. But then there's a piece of it that, how or what are they telling me that is still confidence in me Correct. outside of the relationship? Mm -hmm. And that's where it becomes dangerous if you don't have someone that's validating you in both areas. Right. Um, Really yeah, early, balance. really early, or or if it's later on in life, more often. Mm -hmm. um, and because I think that's also hard too. Is like um, you have to sometimes you have to take time as a as a man or as a as a human being to remind yourself to do those things. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's not ingenuine. It's just like I have to get into a repetition of making sure that this person feels uh, important. Right. And, and how do I do that? If I have to set a reminder. Like, that doesn't mean I'm forgetting. It just means that it's important to me. So I'm putting it as a priority. Absolutely. So I think it's just, you know, I think confidence comes in many different shapes and sizes. Yeah. I think it just depends on the person receiver, receiving it and the person delivering it. And I think, um, I think it's, it's self-earned too, man. Like, confidence is a muscle. You gotta keep, you gotta keep working it. 
And it, 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 you know what I mean? And it's like it's like it's great that you can say something to instill confidence or build somebody's esteem up, but like if they're not willing to do the work on themselves, they'll never be confident. Right? They can't receive it. And honestly, I mean, I think I think some of the most pivotal points in my life came from rejection from a girl who I thought was like up here, and I just had that personality where I'm like, okay, well, if you thought I wasn't good enough for you over here, <laughs> I'm gonna become the guy who you can't have. Ooh, you know, that's like, you know, right. and I was like, and, but again, that's like right. that, that's why, like that's why I asked, like, did you use that as fuel? Because that's that's kind of how. That's what drives me. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that not that like not being accepted by somebody who you pedestalize. And I stopped pedestalizing people a long time ago, but in my youth, you're like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, blah, blah. And then she's like, I want nothing to do with you. I'm like, all right, now I'm gonna show you. Yeah. You know, and then you come back two years later and all of a sudden you're like, no, I don't have time for you. See right. that? Like that's that's the chip that and again, I'm not saying that's healthy, but that can be used. To instill confidence in yourself by ultimately being rejected by somebody who you once looked up to. Uh, but I, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm the same way. Mm. I, I do that to this day. I literally, like, if I tried to talk to you back in the day, mm. and now that you see I got all this stuff going on, right? Mm. And now you're like, oh, hey, hey, big head. No, don't hey, big head. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you're done, right? Like, I, right. If I tried, that's my rule. If I tried to talk to you in the past, Said like even if you say hey like I'm just not dating right now right ooh you're not dating right when you come to me I'm dating bro mm-hmm. I'm gonna date you I get it I get it mm-hmm. right what what I don't know um, where you was at in life but you yeah. didn't give me a chance so yeah right like there's another one in the world and yeah. honestly that may be petty but it's like yes yeah. that's what yeah. what again that that self confidence that's got to be built yeah. but I was just about to say. Why do you have to prove anything? Why is it? It's not. It's not. It's, it's, not, it's, it's how I operate as a human. Yeah. Right. Like I love. Like I love when somebody tells me I'm a not good enough or I can't do that. I'm like immediately now. Watch. Just sit back. Watch. It may take me ten years, but eventually I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna say I told you so. That's how I operate as a human. But the point of me saying that is that I think that that was me going back to saying that. Confidence got to be built from within as well. That's just how I build my own confidence. So I, I really, I push myself harder when somebody says I can't do something. So, and everybody might be different, but I'm saying that's how I build my own confidence. So. What if you can't? Mm-hmm. You said it, when somebody tells you you can't do something, what if you can't? What if you never get to that place where you do and die trying? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you, you, you know, no, <laughs> And, and like I know that sounds like super extreme, but it's not because the goals I have set up for my life, I know for a fact I will not be able to attain them in one lifetime. That doesn't stop me from chasing. Them. Mm. Yeah. And that's where my confidence yeah. comes from. Yeah, that, exactly. honestly, that that's where it comes from. It's like it's like the only time I really look in the rear view is just to see, oh my like, damn, I came a far way in five years. Mm. But if like five years ago, that person who said I couldn't do this, I would never be shit, or I'm sorry, I would never be anything, like that that's what all of a sudden I look at that and I'm so proud of myself. But it comes from, again, my personality in terms of me wanting to prove people wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I'm just saying that's how I get down. Right. Um, anything else? I just want to make a comment. I think I thought it was when you were talking when I said, I mean, so much the, the men and the providing, the doing, and then the words, all that. Um, I think for that, it's it's all about reassurance. And reassurance doesn't have to have a high dollar value. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, so you can reassure, you know, with your words and also doing physical things that will make a woman know, okay, he he's here to stay. He knows what he's want, he wants. He knows, you know what I'm saying? I think reassurance because, you know, tell my business, my ex, I we would get into it often because like I like I'm a giver. I like to do, I like to, you know, be intentional about who I'm with. So I would go out of my way for you, you know? And so like, I would stress to him, he wasn't doing anything. I'm like, okay, listen, you just need to reassure me. 
know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he was like, or I said, I'll give you an example. I said to him, I said, you know how your favorite candy is squiggles? Like, it's dummy worms, but they only sell it at like certain gas stations. <laughs> squiggles? Squiggles. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you. 
Well, nah. I, think, I think it's I think I think it's two things. It's in a relationship, do both people make the other feel like the number one priority? Mm -hmm. Number two, do I know what I have to do in a relationship, and am I doing it? If those two things are happening consistently, why would there not be confidence in a relationship? I always feel number one, and I always know like if if I know this person needs reassurance and I'm always giving it to them, why would they not be confident? So I think a lot of times it fails in one of those two areas. Right. Either I'm now I'm doing less because now I have you, I'm doing less, and or I'm I'm still treating you like a priority, but I'm doing less of the things I used to do, or I'm not complimenting you as much, or like that's a that's a full time job. Yeah, it is. Within yeah. the relationship, the relationship is a full time well, job, right. and then and then the and then the actions in the relationship are a full time job. You got multiple full time jobs in a relationship. Right. And if you're unwilling to work full time, then Why are you, you know the result of that. Yeah. You want full time, full time pay with part time hours. <laughs> it's like you can't. Yeah, relationships are work, and I think a lot of people in our society are unwilling to put in the work. Right. 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 Absolutely. And, and I think everybody just like thinks they deserve one. Yeah, I think that's right. right. You're entitled to one. It's right. like you don't want to do any work on yourself. You don't want to do any work in the relationship with. God's supposed to just drop this magical person that's going to complete it. It's like, it doesn't exist. Like, you might know. I'm right in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's why I, I really get scared when women be like, I don't want to work. And I'm like, you can never know what can happen to me. Like, if something happens to me, yes, like, I have life insurance, but that's not what it is. Don't, right. don't tell them that we start dating. Right? Like, no. My but, class, yeah, but, you, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, life insurance, that's it. That's why I <laughs> Another Confident Monday video. Everybody say bye.